Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for another uh, Wednesday wood turning tip. Let's talk briefly about uh, lathe maintenance. You can put some of it off for a while, but I find that there's a few little things that you can do that will really keep things uh, going a lot smoother for you. So let's look at those. Uh, first thing to do is, uh, before I uh, turn at the beginning of a day, I use this, uh, I'll show you a close up, this 20 gauge bronze uh, shotgun bore brush to clean the spindle. I do that for both the uh, tail stock and the uh, head stock. Keeping that Morse taper clean will go a long way to not uh, having it get fouled with one of your Morse taper fittings such as your drive center because they can get galled and damage the inside of this. So that's a great, great technique. Next, uh, at the beginning of the day, I like to uh, wipe the bed down with a little WD-40. Uh, if, if I've been turning green wood, I wipe it down at the end of the day. I'm fortunate in that I've got an air-conditioned shop. I don't have to worry about rust. So y'all don't need to tell me about how WD-40 is not going to keep everything from, from rusting because I'm not putting it on there for that purpose. I just want everything running smooth. So here's what I do. I got this tip from John Jordan who's a, you know, a very noted professional wood turner and, and wood artist that's noted for his hollow forms. And this is a tip that he demonstrates uh, when he demos because he pulls, pulls maintenance on the lays that he's going to be demonstrating on and if it works for John it's good enough for John it's good enough for me so I just wipe it down also I like to wipe off here along the uh, face of the spindle and then I just use a piece of uh, a paper towel just kind of kind of wipe it off a little bit that'll keep your chuck from from sticking some people believe in using these washers but I've had they, they, they are not machined as true as the metal. They can get uh, really distorted and in induce vibration. So I don't use these. A little bit, little bit of WD-40 will prevent that, that sticking. Then after I wipe it down with that uh, abrasive, you know, Scotch, Scotch brand type of abrasive uh, pad, I just kind of wipe it, wipe any of the excess off. And I also take just a moment to wipe underneath a banjo. I don't get crazy about it. I don't use products like wax or Boshio much on my lathe bed because I don't want to get too slick. But I do use it uh, occasionally on my bandsaw uh, blade, uh, <laughs> bandsaw table to keep it uh, uh, free uh, and slick. So uh, any mo wood will move across it real, uh, real smoothly. And again, I don't have to worry about because I'm in an air conditioned shop, I don't need to worry too much about rust, but uh, it does provide a protective coat for those of y'all that are in a more humid uh, climate. Either a, you know, a soft paste wax like this men wax or that bow shield works great. The last thing I do periodically, but certainly not every day, is uh, all my uh, tool rests are uh, iron and they'll have an occasion to get nicked by various tools. So if you use a file, and, and this shout out is for uh, viewer uh, Mark Graham who uh, saw in an earlier video I wasn't using the file properly. You always push the file away from you. Just a few strokes uh, occasionally and then I'll grab whatever scrap of uh, sandpaper I have handy that's anywhere from 150 to 240 grit. Just kind of rub it down a little bit. And then lastly, I'll grab a candle and just kind of rub it down to fill in any really uh, fine nicks. If you do those tasks, your lathe's going to be uh, uh, running good for you and you'll have fewer, uh, fewer problems.